What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Now, for a guy that's not playing basketball, Mr. Durant, like Kevin Durant, sure has a lot to say. Now, his latest victim of being called out is none other than James Harden. He talked about the 2018 series where the Warriors beat them, um, beat the uh, Rockets. And he said one of the key ways to beat the Rockets was to let James Harden dribble, dribble, dribble. He dribbled so much for each possession that we know he was going to get tired at some point. And it was going to make us easier to score on a defensive end because his legs would have been tired. So, yeah, that's definitely calling out James Harden, basically saying the guy dribbles the air out the basketball to a point that he was going to get, he was going to wear himself down. And they go at him on the defensive end because he's so tired from trying to score so much that they were going to get the edge on him. So it would have been easier for them to beat him and his uh, Rockets. So those are words from none other than Durant, like Kevin Durant himself. This is a guy that recently attacked a fan when a fan said um, LeBron was the GOAT. And he said LeBron wasn't. And, you know, he, he got on. He got on that fan for saying LeBron's the GOAT when he said, you know, everybody knows his mic, you know, that this, that, and the third. So Kevin Durant's been mighty vocal in calling out fans and talking to people. And I, I find it funny that a guy that has not played a lick of basketball in um, now almost two, you might as well have to say two seasons now, right? Um, well, a season, let's just say a season. Uh, the guy missed out a whole season, is sitting behind the sidelines just talking smack. I'm telling you this much, Kevin Durant, you better bring it come next season because if you got this much um, heart, you got this much braveness to talk smack about everybody, you're gonna have to bring it the next, the very next year, okay? You and Kyrie gonna have to bring the Brooklyn Nets to the finals. Anything less than that, it'll be unsatisfied, so to speak, all right? So, James Harden, a guy that a lot of people seem to throw jabs at and throw shots at. I mean, Kobe called him out before and said, hey, his style of play wasn't going to win championships. And Chris Paul didn't want to play with him because Chris Paul said he held on to the ball too long and it was just dribble, dribble, shoot. They didn't get the time to set up a play and this and that. But this does add to the legend if Chris Paul played in 2018, they would have beat the Warriors. We would never know, but that's always going to be one of those what if things. You know, what if, what if, um, should have, could have, would have, right? That's what that, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what that would have been, basically. And since that it never took place, it never happened, it is what it is. So you got to call things out for what it is. And Kevin Durant, he got a lot of heart out here. He's talking a lot of spec. So, I like to see what James Harden would say to this and respond. Because when um, Giannis Antetokounmpo was disrespecting James Harden, he was quick to call um, Giannis a, a scrub and garbage, and he don't have talent. It's easy just to dunk a basketball. So James Harden, you got to call out Kevin Durant for talking shit about you in his uh, <laughs> this ESPN interview, dog. It's getting to a point where everybody doing jabs at James Harden and disrespecting him. He has his chance to prove himself when the playoffs come. Okay, you're gonna have to prove yourself against OKC Thunder, which is no slouch. They are a great team in the Western Conference and they're an underachieving team because you didn't thought the OKC Thunder was gonna even make the playoffs. The minute they get Chris Paul, he turns them into a playoff contending team. That's, that's great, man. Chris Paul should have been in conversations for MVP, if you really look at it, to, to take that team to the playoffs was pretty pretty remarkable and you know they made a lot of good they made a lot of trades man and they was like in rebuilding mode i didn't thought they was going to make the playoffs i thought it was just going to rebuild chris paul was going to complain about playing with a bunch of young cats and uh, he didn't want to rebuild he wanted to leave and look what happened you know chris paul gonna have his chance to get revenge on james harden if they could beat the rockets in the seven game series and the odds looking closer to to that happening, you know? Don't take the dunder for lightly, okay? 
respect each and every opponent. Shea Gilders Alexander is balling out. He's having one of the best seasons of, of his career, his young career so far. And, you know, they got a lot of good pieces with defense with Steve Adams. They got Galanare. You know, he's, he's a veteran. <laughs> so don't sleep on the Dunder, man. You know, depending on how many games Westbrook misses, they won't get past the OKC Dunder. And just to add on to the to the legend of what I said, if they don't win this year, I repeat, if the Rockets don't win this year, don't be surprised if Russell Westbrook's name is in trade rumors. I'm just saying. Prince Sports out. Peace.